Welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Legacy Challenge. I am super excited to dive into today's episode. Right now, the boys are out and they are just on a little bit of a fishing trip. We are currently in the year 1303 and it is a beautiful Sunday fall morning. It is day one of seven of fall. And so these guys have just decided to get out of the house and enjoy a little bit of nice weather. So Papa Cedric and Kenrick are catching some fish that we can hopefully make for dinner later. And they brought along baby Jasper, who's just out here enjoying playing his toys. Isn't he such a little cutie? I'm obsessed with him. So he is supposed to be a toddler for 18 days. That's what the rules say. That seems like quite a long time. So I'm just gonna see how the gameplay goes. And if that feels like it's dragging out too long, then I might adjust that because um, I'm just not sure what we're gonna do with him as a toddler for 18 days. So maybe we can come up with some fun ideas together, but he's just out enjoying some time with grandpa. I'm actually gonna have Kenrick go ahead and go light the fire and see if maybe they can roast up some fish for lunch. And right now, Roslyn is out doing some foraging just to get some more ingredients for the fridge because we are getting quite low. So she needs to make some more like flour and things like that. So we'll get her going. So she's just out enjoying the weather as well, doing a little bit of foraging while the boys are out doing their thing. It doesn't say we can roast fish, so we'll just pretend like we roasted some fish. Oh, he's gonna autonomously play with Jasper. One of the mods I wanted to add to my- Oh my gosh, Jasper! What? My sweet baby! What was that? My angel! Quirk revealed aggressive. It's becoming clear that Jasper is a little more aggressive than other toddlers. Aggressive toddlers like to roughhouse and are quick to hit, bite, or kick sims. So long as they aren't good friends, they don't even have to be angry like other toddlers. Watch out. Jasper, we don't, we don't like that. No, sir. No, sir. Can we parent him? We, we, we can't even discipline that. Maybe it ha maybe the interaction hasn't gone through. No, absolutely not. All right, let's see. Uh, Rosalyn is back from foraging, so I'm going to check in on her real quick and see what she brought back. Uh, looks like, oh, good, we've got apples. Okay, a lot of you guys were saying you wanted me to plant some apple trees. So let's actually get some apples going for the fall season because that will be really nice. So, yeah, let's plant a couple of apple trees. And she did get some seeds, so that's good because I think that lets us make flour and we need it more flour to be able to make more pies. So yeah, let's get her going on some flour. Get to it, Rosalind. The boys are out catching tons of fish out there, Cedric especially. And then while she works on the flour, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of different objects. So I did place down, this is a honey press. And then we have a, a thing that we can make mead, essentially. I just did like a real quick Google search to see like did peasants like make mead and it did say that they made like, it was basically watered, it was like more watered down. It wasn't like super high quality. Uh, but this is a mod that I will put the name of the creator on the screen and it comes with a couple of objects. So essentially it comes with this wild honey tree and then we'll go through the whole process. You have to attempt to collect the honey and you have like a 50% chance that you're successful. And once you have it, you use the honey, make the honey press to like filter it and stuff and you'll get jars of honey. And then based on the jars of honey, the mead brewer is like an add-on object that you can then make mead. So I wanted to try out a couple new skill items so we can test out those mods and see how they work. So we'll be doing that in today's episode. And then we did get a harvest of mushrooms already for the fall season, so that's amazing. Our mushrooms have popped back up. So get him on that. And then let me see if we can actually harvest. 
So I actually placed this off the lot using the tool bot. I wanted it to look more like it was like a random tree growing with some honey. Let's see, was she successful? Your sin is too grossed out by bugs right now to do that. Oh, she got stung. Okay, so here we get some moodlets. So she was stung from trying to steal wild honey. Ouch, pesky bee stings are the worst, but it is hard to resist the spoils of honey. And then another moodlet, ticks and feet. Oh, when she went foraging, I didn't realize that. I didn't check her. So when she went foraging, she got a tick. Okay, so that's really interesting. I love those little moodlets that add a little bit of realism. So we were unsuccessful in the honey gathering. So we'll have to try that again. So that's gonna be a added challenge. I do still have our regular bee box that I am gonna keep and keep collecting honey here as well. We, I don't think we'll be able to use this honey on the honey press since it's not part of the mod, but at least these bees will continue to fertilize the garden and help us evolve our plants. Can any of these be evolved? No, but they're getting really close. Kenrick, you need to repair the hole in this bucket, buddy. And then let's go check in on Cedric. What is Cedric and our baby boy doing? Okay, so. Jasper's just playing in the tent. Papa Cedric is killing it out here. Oh my God, we have so many fish. I don't even, we caught a cow plant berry. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna grow the cow plant because that's very much not realistic to our storyline. Papa Cedric has made it back home. The rest of the gang is just cleaning up around the farm. Aw, Grandpa's cleaning the counter. I feel like a lot of you guys said you really like Papa Cedric, that he just seems like a really good dad and just a really overall like good guy. And he really is. He like, he really, he really um, stepped up when Rosalind's mother passed away. She was like the absolute love of his life and he raised Rosalind all on his own and he's just always been there for her and so they're super close and I think he's just really val valuing this time that he's getting to have with them so he's gonna stay around for a little while. Um, I think he went ahead and sold off like his animals and things like that. So there was nothing left for him to tend to. So he might be just staying with us for a while. He wants to see Rosalind's family grow. She was his only child. And so that's like the only family they have. So I think Papa Cedric will definitely be staying around for a while. Let's see, Kenrick, go ahead. Everyone's needs are pretty good. Um, and then I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just get these guys all down for the night and I'll see you guys when they wake up for a fresh new day tomorrow. All right, so it is now the next morning and Rosslyn is up bright and early at 5.45 a.m. So we are gonna go ahead and see what we can make. Ooh, let's do a fish head stew since we just caught all of that fresh fish. I did put all of the mushrooms into the cupboard we we actually harvested 72 mushrooms but i just put them all in there and i'm just gonna keep saving everything because winter is coming you guys and we need to make sure that we are fully stocked up let's see how are okay oh, our apple trees are sprouting that's awesome so let's go ahead mm, fresh fish stew for breakfast sounds absolutely delicious so she's gonna get that ready before everyone is up let's see how little jasper is getting very hungry kendrick also very hungry cedric doing outstanding as always always grandpa why don't you go ahead get up do you mind cleaning jasper's chamber pot for us thank you so much and then you can go ahead and also use the chamber pot. Let's see, you almost done with that, Rosslyn. Excellent. Oh my God, that looks amazing. That's so cool how it's in the pot. So that is ready to go for everyone. Let's have let Jasper have the last of the chicken pie. Come on, baby boy. Time to wake up. Time to get the day started. Okay. We got four jars of honey. I don't think I can do anything with this on the honey pot. Let me see. Oh, maybe we can. Actually, maybe we can use the regular honey. I would love to see how that works. So after she's done with breakfast, we'll get that going. Hey, that's so cool. Yeah, so it's not like a super smooth animation, but all in all, it says the honey was processed. You can now collect the final product. Okay, collect processed honey. So this was with the honey from our garden. And so that gave us, oh wow, one jar of clover honey and two wildflower honey. So let's see if we can make any mead. We can make classic mead. Wait, hold on, did I have the ingredients? 
wait, no, it says that would cost money actually. So let's wait. We need two things of wildflower honey. And then she's feeling super playful. So I want to send her back over here now that she's in a good mood. And maybe we can gather the wild honey. So let's see if this works this time. Oh, we still, she got stung again. I'm going to have her harvest the carrots and more mushrooms. We're going to be fully stocked for winter. This family is not going to go hungry. And then some of you guys were actually asking in the comments, like how things will change throughout history. And so once we get to, I think it's like 1315 or 1317, I'll have to check the rules. We actually go through a famine and there's some different rules. Like we'll have to sell all of the animals and there you can only like eat once a day. And so that's going to be like a real challenge to see if we can survive through the famine. Um, assuming we've already made it through the death rolls by that time. I'm also thinking about probably starting a side household pretty soon. And so I'll probably introduce the side household. Um, I think that I'll make the side household family members of Kenrick so we can start to get to know some of Kenrick's family members as well. And then if things don't work out, then we'll still have a Rosenthorn family. So I think I'm going to make Kenrick's brother as our side household and we'll meet them very soon so that will be super fun just to have more characters and more family and then have more personality and development to these characters stories but she is done with the garden it didn't look like anything needed to be watered how about Kenrick before you need to use the chamber pot why don't you just go do a hunting run real quick for us and then there were a lot of questions on this mod as well. So the mod that I'm using to send them out to go hunting and foraging and to collect items is part of the Yay Old Cookbook mod. And this object itself is found under the Outdoor Activities category in your Build My Catalog. And so then you just plop that down and then those ingredients are functional with the cookbook mod. And then let's see if we can press more honey. We can get her back on that because she's got... Yeah, she can do that three more times because it's one jar of honey for each time she does that. Okay, so Grandpa is, we are hard at work. And I did turn my game sound up a little bit more so you can hear that a little better. Bills are due, 436 simoleons. We have 1,041. So that is fine. So when Kenrick comes back, he can go ahead and pay bills. And then what are you coming to, little Jasper? Are you coming to watch Grandpa? Oh, you're sad. He had a potty accident. Oh, he's coming run to mommy. Look how cute. Look at them. Look at this family. What a medieval, a little medieval family moment. I love these guys. All right. Are you done with that, Rosalind? Here, while you're out here, collect the honey. I think I'm going to like this skill because um, I've been trying to find... Uh, skills that like are a little bit quicker and so this one definitely seems to be faster and then even if uh, we don't make the mead the honey will this is still like feels a lot more realistic than just like doing the honey and just like selling the raw jars um, and then I'm gonna try the okay we need two more jars of multi-flower honey so we're on our way aches and pains from hunting large game chasing down the game has made Kenrick's body ache. Probably should have a rest. Oh, okay. So that was like a tough hunting trip for him. That's cool. We haven't had that interaction yet. So what did he get? Did he get anything? He caught a hare, a duck, and a pigeon. So we'll plop those here. Did we make any big meals yet? What are we missing? I thought we had spinach. We must have used that for something. Potatoes will grow. Actually, before we go any further, I actually need to check the... Now that we're in the fall season, I got so caught up with fishing and everything I forgot to check because we can plant a lot more stuff I know potatoes might be winter but yeah let me check real quick and I'll come back and tell you guys what the fall season is okay fall is onions carrots mushrooms apple pear grape and raspberry so we already have carrot mushroom and apple growing um, I don't think we have any grapes so what do we have because yeah nothing else is sprouting so Actually, Rosalyn needs to go on probably a couple of round of foraging trips. So I'll send her out actually foraging. 
Roslyn is back and she did get some garlic. She did get some raspberries. All right, let's go again. All right, she was gone a lot longer that time, but we did get onions. So let's definitely get some onions down for the fall garden. And the sunset looks so nice. Look at it. Oh my gosh. So we are just doing some lovely fall planting, enjoying this fall weather. It is so nice. And then we also did get the raspberries. So let's go ahead and get those down. All right, so we could now make baked mushrooms. It takes 16 mushrooms. So that's why I'm gonna keep all of them even though we're harvesting 72 a day, but they are gonna go through those really fast depending on what we cook. And then now we've got the two cheese and we have the herbs. So we're gonna make some baked mushrooms from the fresh fall harvest. And little Jasper's going play in the cabinet while mom cooks. I feel like these guys are gonna definitely be a really close family. So these guys are just gonna have their dinner and go to bed. But first I want you guys to see what the mushrooms look like. That's what they look like. They look so good. So we'll just go ahead and have everyone eat. So Papa is just putting Jasper to bed and then these guys are gonna be out for the night. Night baby Jasper, we'll see you tomorrow. So it is now the next morning and these guys are just cleaning up. It is the first day of 1304. So we are moving through time pretty quickly. And Rosalyn is just having her bath for the day. And then she is going to come and harvest our first apple harvest of the season. So I'm excited to see what all we can actually make with the apples. So we're going to go ahead and get that. And then... Um, Kenrick is just cleaning up the farm with Cedric and then it doesn't look like anything else in the garden can be harvested but the, the honey is ready and then I'll also have her go and gather the wild honey and see if we can finally be successful with that so let me see what ends up in inventory so I can tell if we get honey from the other one Okay, so we did get four jars of honey for that. And then let's see if we are finally successful with this other one. Okay, we did. We were. And so it's a basket of wild honey. Okay, awesome job, Rosalyn. Finally did that. So we'll head back over to our honey press station. And then we'll go ahead. Let's filter wild honey because that's the new one. We haven't had that interaction before. All right, so the honey was processed and we can now collect the final product. So same as before. That gave us six jars of wild honey. Very cool. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to do both types of honey, I think, because it gives us like a larger variety, it seems like. So by doing the ones from the regular game bee box as well as the wild honey tree. So I think that'll be the strategy there because this seems to be a pretty good skill. The interactions don't take super long. So I'm definitely enjoying this one, I think, a lot better than some of the other skills that we've tried. So I'd say I definitely recommend the honey production mod. Go ahead and empty the chamber pot for us, Kenrick. And then we also need to very much give Jasper a bath. Look at this stinky boy. I did finally fix the glitch on him where he was like perpetually stinky in last episode. I think the issue was I aged him up manually into a toddler from an infant. And when he was an infant, he had a stinky diaper. And so what I tried and worked was I aged him back down to an infant, changed the dirty diaper because he still had the dirty diaper. And then when I changed him, like aged him back up to the toddler, it fixed it. So if you ever have that glitch in your game, that did work for me. Just make sure to not manually age up your infants with a dirty diaper because then it seems like they might be a per perpetually stinky toddler and no one wants that. So that would be my advice on that. Okay, so Rosalyn is making some honey mead, and this is a new interaction. She had like a little jar that was really cool. And I love that Kenrick is just playing with Jasper. There's a mod that you can add to your game that will remove the sparkles, and I really want to do that because I feel like those types of little interactions just take away from the immersion. So I will have to look back. I know Ocean Sims did a video on it, so I'll have to see. Oh my god, I never saw that before. He like dips the water into the bucket to get a glass of water. That was really cool. So let's see what the honey mead looks like. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. 
everyone come and get you some honey mead and then i wonder if that fulfills it fulfills your hunger a little bit everyone get you some mead so that's a delicious new drink that we have so we'll make some pigeon pie because Jasper's really cranky because he's very hungry because mom was spending all of her time making flour. Papa's gonna try to keep Jasper entertained for a little bit while mom tries to get some dinner ready for him. So these guys are just gonna have a little bit of... <laughs> yeah, let's take care of that cranky little boy. Aw, he loves his papa. Up, up, up. Play with me, papa. Make funny faces. Oh, Papa Cedric doing such a great job keeping our little baby distracted. Okay, hurry up, Roslyn. Or we're going to have a cranky little boy on our hands. Aw, Jasper and Cedric are now jokesters dynamic. I love that for them because Papa Cedric is a big goofball himself. So he's really good at helping take care of our little our little boy all right finally with the pigeon pie all right baby boy wait i'm pretty sure rosalind just maxed her cooking skill oh my gosh that's crazy because all she's been doing is cooking so many meals so rosalind is officially a level 10 in cooking already here let's everyone have some pigeon pie finally mom worked so hard on it all right, and baby boy is using his diaper. You're supposed to use the chamber pot, little buddy. So these guys are having dinner, and this day flew by. My intention with this day was actually to have them try for a baby again. We hadn't really discussed that this episode after they lost Penelope last episode, but you guys had so many sweet comments about baby Penelope, and of course we do still have her little grave site. The flowers aren't blooming currently just because they're not in season, but I think that will look really nice. And then if we do have more deaths, which will likely happen, unfortunately, this being that kind of challenge, we will just continue to sort of expand that area and maybe we'll call it Rosenthorn Gardens and just plant a flower for everyone. But these guys are really ready to grow the family, but it feels weird because right now, there are so many sims in one little area that these guys just haven't been able to get some alone time. So I think what we'll do is tomorrow, um, Grandpa is going to take uh, Jasper out to do some activities just to give these two a little bit of alone time together. So they're going to go ahead and just get down for the night, finish up their pigeon pie, and then we'll see what Grandpa has in store for Jasper tomorrow. So it is a dark and cloudy fall morning and Cedric and Kendrick are the only ones up so far. So Papa Cedric has gone ahead and incubated three hens, uh, three eggs in the coop. So hopefully we can get some harvestable eggs because we did get our first pop up during the night that one of our hens is getting old in age. So time is passing quite quickly, which makes sense. It's been about four years since we've started playing. So I, the older ones, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wait and hold off on naming them. What I wanna do is use the name suggestions that you guys have given me for the hens that we actually hatch. So we do have our first hen, Flora, that hatched on the farm. And then once some of the new hatchable eggs hatch, I will go ahead and give them some of the names that you guys have suggested in the comments because there's tons of really great names. So. I'll just wait for that and then let's see we do still have some pigeon pie i like the pigeon pie i think we'll try to make that as often as we can because it has a really long shelf life so that is another tip when making different items and then Rosalind definitely needs to do some laundry because that is definitely starting to pile up around the house a little bit and then what we're going to do is once Jasper is up for the day, Grandpa is going to take him out on a little walk through, uh, not the forest, but he's going to take him on a stroll. We can do that with a yay old cookbook mod. So Jasper's actually looking pretty good. So I think Papa is going to come on, wake him up for the day and take him on a little stroll just so these guys can get a little bit of much needed alone time. So let's go ahead and get him up and dressed for the day. Let's see, I think it's just cool. Yeah, it's cool. We don't need to put him in his cold outfit. 
You ready to go out with Grandpa? Okay, time to go out with Grandpa. So the way that I'll do it, I haven't tested this with the toddler, but it did show up as an option. So we're going to go for a stroll. Papa Cedric's going to take Jasper. And then they should both go to the rabbit hole together. So they're going to go and spend a little bit of time. Bye, have fun with, with Papa. And so these guys finally get a moment. She can wait for a little while to do the laundry but we they are ready for more kids so we're gonna go ahead and have them try for a baby all right so i'm gonna go ahead and have her take a pregnancy test because you guys are telling me so many fun random medieval facts that they apparently <laughs> they used to like pee on a bag of wheat and see if it would germinate and that is how they would tell if they were pregnant or not so we're gonna pretend I actually did add a mod oh my gosh yes we're pregnant! Okay, hopefully this pregnancy goes a lot better. But I did, I was going to say, I did add a mod to grow actual wheat so we could actually make it seem more realistic. That's okay. I didn't want to wait all the time. I just want the gameplay to go a little quicker. So we are pregnant with our next baby. I am so excited. We're just going to continue cleaning up around the farm. But I think today's episode... Uh, we didn't have as much going on, but the boys really did enjoy their fishing trip and just spending time enjoying this amazing fall weather. And we got the honey production set up, and I think that's going really well. Okay, so before we close, let's just try out the bead production because we actually do have the honey that it's required. So I just want to wrap that up before we close the episode and see how this interaction works out. But we did harvest the honey ourselves on the farm. So all of the ingredients came from us. And then let's see how long this takes. Okay, it doesn't take very long at all. Oh my gosh, and then we get a barrel. I love this. Okay, I highly, 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 highly recommend this mod. I'll pop the creator up on the screen again if you're interested in checking it out. But it does come with the um, honey press and then there's an add-on it's a separate file for the mead brewer but it says we've now acquired the mead brewing skill Rosalind's new skill in mead brewing will allow her to prepare the oldest beverage in the world straight for it classic the higher the skill level the more recipes become unlocked and better quality mead is produced and so let's see now we have the mead barrel we can put that in her inventory uh, barrel filled with homemade mead made by Rosslyn and it would be 105 simoleons if I sold it straight into my inventory and let's see if we click it okay let's actually real quickly I just want to like try everything out so we can actually can I do it out here so she doesn't have to go inside yeah fill into bottles okay so then you fill it into bottles I think the trader is here. So I'm gonna have Kenrick do that as well. Okay, so now we have classic mead, simple mead made with honey, water, and yeast, the best beverage if you want to taste the real mead or to show your mead brewing skills. And then if I were to sell, oh my gosh. <laughs> if I were to sell the six bottles, that's actually 840 simoleons. Um, okay, so this is interesting. So you guys let me know, cause there's a lot of you guys who know a lot about like medieval history and peasant life and things like, like, like that. Does it make sense for us as a peasant family to like go into mead brewing and starting to sell our mead? Maybe we can actually move up from peasants into merchant class and kind of grow our name, our family name a little bit. That could be really exciting. That's nice progress for them. Grandpa, why are you doing, you and uh, Jasper must be back from your stroll. But Grandpa is doing laundry. He is such a big help. He, he grew up taking care of everyone. He is not new to this game. Okay, let's go ahead and sell some items real quick with the trader because we can't end just yet. We've got to finish up, get those simoleons, 395 simoleons. So we're back up to 1,000. We have it. We didn't make a lot of progress, but we did add some really good items. So I think the honey brew or the honey press and the mead brew was very, very worth it. And let's get our apple harvest as well. 
Okay, and then we probably, our fall garden over here, I'm not sure why it keeps going dormant, but we did get some onions. So we'll grab those really quickly. And then she needs the weed, the garden. So I think that's where we're gonna end it for now. That was like a very eventful, lots happening right at the end, but I'm glad we got there. And so next episode, we will be continuing through the rest of the fall season and I will have the next baby and see how that goes. So fingers crossed and good vibes for our next baby that they do survive. I hope it's another baby girl. Of course, we need boys for our heirs, but we're gonna try to have as many babies as we possibly can while we can so we'll see how that goes but it's been a lot of fun thank you all for joining me for this episode and i will see you all in the next one